stairs. I don't know what they doing. Look, in honor of Black History Month, which is starting off today, look at my picture. I had this picture for 15 years. Maybe longer than that. Probably almost 20 years. I had this picture. Alright, so, we just got finished watching the movie, Harriet, that was just made in 2019. We were supposed to see it in the movie theaters, but you know how that goes. Um, let me just give you guys the storyline. It's based on the thrilling and inspirational life of an iconic American freedom fighter. Harriet tells the extraordinary tale of Harriet Tubman's escape from slavery, slavery and transformation into one of America's greatest heroes. Her courage, ingen ingenuity, and tenacity freed hundreds of slaves and changed the course of history. So I know a lot of people had issue with... Um, the actress, because I believe she's she's from she's British, but I'm like she's still she's still black, right? Um, the movie did forty three million dollars worldwide, and um, had Janelle Monae in there, um, Vanessa Bell Calloway, Leslie Odom Jr. Um, Harriet is played by Cynthia Erebo. I believe that's how you say her name. I like the movie. Um, a lot of people said it wasn't accurate, but how would they um, squeeze? I don't know how the timeline is, but they wouldn't be able. To, that would have to be like a like a mini series or like a like a docu series that would last like probably for a month. You want to get all the details in it. Um, so, um, I like the movie. Um, I mean, I was able to sit through it. <laughs> usually movies that are kind of like back in time, it usually takes me, it has to keep me interested. So, it definitely kept me in, um, interested. It also made me very mad. Um, I was just telling my daughter, you know, how is that even possible? How did that even happen that people own, actually owned people? What? That they actually gave, sold your family members away, sold your babies away, sold your mama away, your daddy, your husband. What? Like, how does that even happen? Um... Get some tidbits on Harriet Tubman. So you guys. Oh, and so this month they're playing, um, I believe it's at AMC Theaters, Harriet Tubman. They're playing for free, the movie we just watched. So that's nice. So, and stuff I didn't know, but I should have known. Did you know Harriet Tubman's name was Araminta Ross? And I probably knew it, but I just never soaked it in. And they called her Minty. And, you know, they have some dates. they confused about when she was actually born. It says born March 1822 to March 10th, 1913. Wow. She was an American abolitionist and political activist. Born into slavery, Tubman escaped and subsequently made 13 missions to rescue approximately 70 enslaved people, including family and friends. Using a network of anti-slavery activists and safe houses known as the Underground Railroad. During the American Civil War, she served as an Army Scout and spy for the Union Army. In her later years, 
Tubman was an activist in the struggle for women's suffrage. Born a slave in Dorchester County, Maryland. Can you believe that? Tubman was beaten and whipped by her various masters as a child. Mm. Early in life, she suffered a traumatic head wound when an irate slave owner threw a heavy metal weight intending to hit another slave but hitting her instead. The injury caused dizziness, pain, and spells of hypersomnia, which occurred throughout her life. After her injury, Tubman began experiencing strange visions and vivid dreams, which she um, ascribed to premonitions from God. These experiences combined with her Methodist upbringing led her to become devoutly religious. In 1849, Tubman escaped to Philadelphia, then immediately returned to Maryland to rescue her family. Slowly, one group at a time, she brought relatives with her out of the state and eventually guided dozens of other slaves to freedom. Traveling by night and in extreme secrecy, Tubman, or Moses as she was called, never lost a passenger. I think it would have been very interesting, um, that thing I just read, where her slave master threw the um, heavy metal weight and it hit her. I think it would have been interesting if they had her, if they had it did it from birth when she was born to when she died, maybe. I think that would have been very interesting. Um, so it says when Civil War began, Tubman worked for the Union Army, first as a cook and a nurse, then as an armed scout and a spy. The first woman to lead an armed expedition in the war, she guided the raid at Combahee Ferry, which liberated more than 700 slaves. After the war, she retired to the family home on property she purchased in 1859 in Arbor, New York, where she cared for her aging parents. She was active in the women's suffrage movement until illness overtook her, and she had to be admitted to a home for the elderly African Americans that she helped to establish years earlier. After her death in 1913, she became an icon of courage and freedom. So she took, so when she went, when she finally got to uh, Philadelphia by herself, which they said was 100 miles, she traveled to get to Philadelphia. Um, the man that was, one of the men that was helping her out, he asked her what her new name would be, and she chose her mom, so her mom's name is um, Harriet, and so they call her Rick. And then her husband's name was, you know, last name was Tubman. So she, that's how she got Harriet Tubman. I never knew that. Um, in the movie, she went back to get her husband. And he had already married someone else because th he thought that she died. I mean, she drowned when she jumped off the bridge. And the lady, uh, the, the wife that he had was pregnant. And he didn't want to have any babies with her because her babies would be slaves. So she was very upset about that. I don't know if that's true. It says on here that um, she was married again. Um, it said she never had any kids, but she had an adopted child. It's a lot to read, y'all. Um, so I will put the link in. This is Wikipedia. So strong woman and a lot going on in Maryland. Baltimore, a lot. I was like, what? Frederick Douglass, he um, he worked for the slavery slavery's abolition against um, alongside Tubman, and praised her in print. So this little Black History Month tidbits for you guys. Um, so. I haven't even heard much talk of Harriet on the YouTube streets. 
or even around town it's like nobody watched it or they didn't care for it or, or what so if you guys watched it let me know what you thought about it i thought it i i liked it just fine i i mean I mean, I'll, I'll probably give it, like, maybe an 8 out of 10 because I feel like they could have, it could have been more, a little bit more detailed. Um, they could have made it into a three-hour movie. I mean, if they can make Marvel and Transformers, those movies, into three-hour movies, they surely could make a movie about Harriet Tubman into a three-hour movie. And I think, um, you know, like I said, if they had got her from birth, to when she died or I uh, thought that would be um, very interesting to see how it all started from the beginning and also she sang songs they said and the songs were codes to the um, slaves to tell her if it was okay to come with her or was she was it not okay to come with her so I thought that was very interesting and one of the songs was uh, Wade in the Water but that was very, very interesting. And also I was reading about, you know, like the history of braids and where they come from. They said braids, you know, the um, certain patterns they would put in and the hairstyles and braids would be like a map to freedom. And um, they even had things like rice, like some rice in their braids. So whenever they got to where they were going, they could plant and they got have food. So that is very, very interesting. Very creative race of people I am a part of. Um, so don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And tell me what you thought about this video. And I will see you next time.